Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I wanted to do one more page in my journal um, to journal about some Christmas activities. So I thought I would do that on camera with y'all. Um, so I've gone in and I've pulled some stuff that I think I want to use on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot that to the side. We'll get it opened up. This is the page we did last time. And I think I want to put it on this page. So I think this is a good a good start. So I'll try not to move the, the book much because my journal's so big that it's just it just fits in the camera <laughs> or in the screen. So um when I got to go to Georgia uh, to see my family. Um, I was only going to stay for one night and then come home after um, our breakfast. But then my sister and um, her, my sister lives with her daughter right now. She, they sold their house and was supposed to get some land to build on. And that deal fell through. Anyway, she's staying with her daughter for now until they can get the land that they're trying to get to build a house on. And um, so they were doing a charcuterie board party. Um, with a bunch of their friends, my niece's friends. And so they invited me to stay another night and stay with them and join in in the charcuterie party. And I'm so glad that I did because we had so much fun. We had so much food. Like every person brought a different charcuterie board. So um, my sister did a meat and cheese board with olives, and then she did a um, like an Italian bread with an Italian dip board, and then um, we had a French fry board, a donut board. Um, oh gosh, we had a pizza board, we had a taco board. There were so many boards, I can't even tell you the names of all of them. Uh, there was a s'mores board. Anyways, the whole play, the whole table or bar she has a like an island in the center of her kitchen and it was just covered over with food and drinks and we had such a good time so i just want to get that down in the journal and so i've picked some things that i think that i would like um to play with in the journal in the page and i'll show you the pictures um as we go so um i think i, I like um, the pages that I'm using are cream, but I wanted it to be more of a, um, like a black and white and red theme, as you can see with the buffalo check and stuff. So I don't know. I think it'll look okay on the cream colored pages. So we're just going to keep, we're just going to get going. So I think I might just play some music. I don't know. Y'all tell me, do you like for me to play the music while I'm doing the main parts of it? You know, like just getting things down or would you rather me talk y'all through it um because I can do it both ways but I just sometimes feel like you know I don't know I just I don't want you to get bored so anyways I think while I'm trying to go through and decide where everything's gonna go um I'll just talk through it and then y'all can tell me in the comments below whether you prefer I know a lot of people would rather me talk but even but would you rather me talk even on the journal with me? So, I guess that's kind of what I'm asking. Anyways, so, I think I'd like for this to be kind of like the title of it. Because it really is what kicked off my Christmas season and started the countdown for me. And then I I found, um, I had a, a couple of magazines and I found some things in there. So, I thought this would be fun to go here and then here because you'll you'll understand why in just a minute when you see the pictures because my niece's house is just absolutely beautiful she's just recently built it i think they've maybe been in it a year not sure um and so it is just so so pretty but it has that farmhouse theme with with the bright whites and then the you know the reds and the blacks and it's just so pretty so um I think I like that like that. And then here's the pictures. Let me just get them up here where you can see them. So I, hopefully you can see it okay. This is not even a full bar. Okay, this was, I started taking pictures before everybody got there. 
And then this is me and my sister. And we were in our pajamas. So we did the whole party in our pajamas. All Everybody did it. Even the people who came, they came in their pajamas. So it was super fun. Okay, this is one of the charcuterie boards. Hopefully you can tell what it is, but it was like a candies. And she had all kinds of gummy candies. And these are those little peeps. My brother-in-law was there for the first little bit of it. And he said, oh, it's a peep show. <laughs> So, silly, silly. Um, this is my sister, and this is my niece, whose house it was. And then here's her, these are her other two daughters. So, that is my sister and her girls. Okay, here's a good shot of the, and this still doesn't show everything, because we had so much that it, there were some on the back counters, too. I'm telling y'all, we had so much food, and it was so much fun. Oh, a bagel board. Yeah, we had a bagel board. Um, I'm trying to look at all the boards. There was a fruit board, I know. Anyway, so you can kind of see. And then, again, that's a picture of, of my sister and her girls. So, um, yeah, it was super, super fun. And so, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of tell maybe in this picture. See how she's got, you know, everything's like the bright white, and then you have the accent colors with the reds and the blacks. I just think it's really pretty. So, I thought it would look good on a page. So, and I may just keep it super simple. I may just use the words um, and then maybe use some of the, um, uh, I've got some wrapping paper, just some little pieces of wrapping papers. So, we're just going to, I'm just going to start laying things down. So I'm trying to decide. I think I just kind of want to lay the pictures out on the page. Maybe like so. I think this one might not make the cut. I just don't want to, I don't want to overwhelm the page, you know, with pictures. Um, and I want it to be cute, so I'm thinking that maybe I'll just put these four pictures here, and I might could do like a little tuck at the bottom or something for the extra pictures, you know, maybe like, um, oh, I think I know what I can do. I think I can make this like a, be a little pocket, so maybe I will put these here, and then put this one here like a little pocket and then I could tuck the other two pictures in it I think I like that and I have I wanted to add some let me scoot this away I've got this black and I thought it would be fun to kind of frame the picture in the black yeah I like that so I think I'll do that it cut a little better. Let's put a little piece of tape on it from, I guess, wherever we used it as a gift or to wrap a gift. <laughs> Lift a little tape on it. Okay. So maybe if I frame this and then like just put this down flat on the page and make this a pocket then pictures could tuck in between so you still see the um so you still see the pictures and the black paper i think that's what we'll do okay so i'm gonna get this one down and i'm gonna gonna kind of just put that in the corner there now where did i put my picture Oh, it's under my glue book. <laughs> so then our charcuterie board picture can go here. And I'm thinking, let me just look on the other side because I think I can just kind of staple it. Because I like the look of the staples. So I think that's what I want to do is just kind of staple it on the edge over here. So I'm just going to staple it down two sides. Uh-oh. I'm out of staples. 
Okay. I got a refill on the staples, so I'm just going to put three or four staples down the side here. And then a couple on the bottom. Because we want to make sure that the pictures don't fall out. And I think that will be good. Okay. So then, if I get these down, and I think I want to do like a little bit of um, maybe some music or something behind it. You know, just do a little bit of a collage type deal. So I have this, which I used in the other pages. And then I also have some other music pieces. So I'm just going to pull those out real quick. Okay. And see what we want to work with. So maybe, yeah, see I like that there. I'm just going to put some glue on the back side and I love having it with the I think these are called treble cliffs I could be completely wrong because I'm not very good I mean like I don't read music or anything so I think that's what they're called not positive but I think <laughs> okay so if we put that there and then put that here and I think I'm going to use um, wet glue for these because I printed my pictures on cardstock just so they'd be a little more sturdy. But I didn't want the photo look to it, you know, with that glossy look to it. And I'm sure you can get matte photo paper, but I don't have any, so I just printed it on cardstock. And I'm happy with that. I always go around the edges because I'm a glue freak and I always put way too much glue. <laughs> okay, so now let me just get my little needle back in my glue. I have some vintage pieces of um, vintage ledgers. And so I thought it might be fun to kind of scatter them on the page and not have everything look so blocky, if you know what I mean. Um, and then I also have some, yeah, I think I want a piece of this up here. So let's put that down first. And I usually use wet glue with this, anything that I emboss. I usually try to use wet glue um, just simply because it's a little more textured. And I just feel like it does better with that little bit of extra hold. Okay, so if we put that there but I don't want to cover up my niece's head <laughs> and then I can put this on for the bottom and then let me just look and see yep I think that's gonna be good so I'm gonna put that right there I think it was this one that I had here. Yeah, kind of like that. And I'm going to let it overlap on the, um, the embossed piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put some wet glue on this one. So, okay, and then this one can go here, and I thought maybe I'd put this little Mary pillow right here in the center of all of them, just to kind of bring it all together, but down here, I'm thinking, I've already used ledger, I might put a little of this smaller sized music down here oh and you know what I might put some of this because that might look good I'm 
this one is a little harder to tear because it's got that mylar stuff on the other side. So we'll just use our little edgy trimmers here. Let's see if we can go this way with it. It's a little bit hard to cut on this stuff too with, you know, decorative type scissors. And I think I want to cut it all the way around the edge. Ooh, that's not cutting very good there. Okay, so we got that cut. I don't know how well this glue is going to do on this, but if it starts coming up, we can use a little wet glue and it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all the way down to the bottom. And maybe grab a little piece of the music. I don't want to overwhelm it with music. Yeah, maybe right there. My glue starts getting sticky, so I fold the page <laughs> to make a clean spot to glue on. can go in the garbage now <laughs> we'll turn this one this way since you can see the word Christmas right there we'll put a little glue on this one it's probably entirely too much glue but I always do that so it's okay Okay, so we'll let that one go there. And then we'll put a little glue on the back of our pillow. Our merry pillow. And we'll kind of put him right here in the center to bring everything together. And then let me find my pictures okay found my pictures and so i'm just going to tuck these in here so that i know that there's pictures in there and then i think what i want to do is make a small little tag with this just a little one just to add a little pop of red in that pocket and you know kind of like that and then i can journal on the back of it Let's go ahead and get our corners cut. So we'll cut it there. And there. And then I have this black and white ribbon, a little buffalo checked ribbon. Just cut a little piece of that one off. Oops. And then we'll just add it to the top as a tag topper. And I think I'm going to use this little tiny stapler, if I can. And there we have a cute little tag tucked in. And it just kind of says, hey, you know, there's something in the pocket. And then I'll do some journaling over here and maybe on the back of the tag. And we'll call it a page. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, you know, it was a quick page, simple and easy. It didn't take much. There, you know, there's not much supplies on here. So I hope you grab your journal and you make some fun pages. The main thing about it is enjoy it. Have fun while you're doing it because that's what it's all about. So um, until the next time. Um, I'm sending y'all big, big hugs. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box below. Hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.